Hello. I took a long break. I came back yesterday, but now we're back with the uploads, which is not a good sign, kind of. But who cares? Man? So, what we got? In, so today. We'll be talking, I'm, I'm quite late to this topic, I think, maybe like two weeks late, but um, today we'll be talking about the Apple event that happened like a week ago. I, it was like a, yeah, a week ago. Anyways, th this Apple event, disappointed me like a lot the new the new iPhone 13 quite minimal changes you know changed the cameras made them bigger a bit of design change you know I'm disappointed but I'm I'm okay with it all right now, now, I'm gonna talk about 120 hertz, all right? Finally, after like six years, they finally added 120 hertz to the iPhone, which is a huge advancement because they've been at like 60 or 30 hertz for the longest time. So this is a huge, huge advancement. If you don't know what 20 hertz, uh, 120 hertz means, it's like a 120 frames per second refresh rate. So it refreshes 120 hertz per second, basically. That's what that means. And before, it was half of that. So this is a big change. Even though Samsung, for quite a, like a couple of years, has still had 144 hertz and has been advancing i think they're uh, i think they had like a phone that goes 200 hertz but samsung's obviously better for chip wise probably apple's better the apple's a14 bionic chip last year is the best chip ever seen in a smartphone. So, it's kind of hard to see that there's gonna be the A15, which is gonna be even better, which is kind of insane. It, I can't even imagine that. It's like already past the Snapdragon 888, like, how? I thought Snap, honestly, in the beginning, I thought Snap, the Snapdragon chip was like the best one. That is a very good chip, but apparently a, uh, the Apple chips are like way faster. Checked on Geekbench, they're like so much faster. The number one, the fastest chip. Which I am surprised by because um, that's like the only thing that Apple delivers in so far. Camera wise, it's average, you know, nothing really to see here. They just made the, the, the regular model one kind of look like an alien head. It's a bit different. No, it's a minimal change. The new color, like uh, Sierra Blue, that's, in my opinion, that's a good color. Okay, enough about the iPhone. I am all right. I think the iPhone was all right this year. Now, on to the iPad Mini. The iPad Mini they basically turn the iPad mini into another iPad Pro clone. And by that I mean it looks the same but smaller. 
so they had they added purple i'm probably gonna get that one because i have an ipad air 2 from 2014 and it doesn't work it doesn't it the the uh, the battery dies at 10 percent and the and the screen is like broken a bit not like cracked it's like there's like lights at the bottom and the the brightness doesn't work properly but we're gonna go past that that's my own personal problem and i'm not gonna bother you with that i've already bothered you with all of my personal problems in an up in the up in the update video all right so we're not pestering anyone with my personal problems so next uh, we got this, like, the last thing, I think. Yeah, we have the Apple Watch Series 7, right? So, Midnight Green is my favorite color, alright? As you can see, I have an Apple Watch Series 6 with the mid- with the sage green, I think. It's like a forest green. It's pretty close to Midnight Green. I'm wearing a Midnight Green shirt. Exactly. And I love this watch. So Apple this year went ahead and made and made like the casing green. They released a green color of the Apple Watch. Not the band, the bot, the band that was green like last year and the year before. They already added that like a long time ago. But now, the actual watch itself has a green color. And it's in my favorite color and I'm severely disappointed. All right, let me just say that I'm severely disappointed because I'm obviously not getting that one and it's in my favorite color but you know what who cares still getting the iPad mini because I, I kind of need it and it's the cheapest option so and the Apple Watch Series 7 has the most minimal changes in a tech product in in the history of me caring about tech products, all right? Which has been about eight years. So, pretty minimal change. So basically, all they did was make the screen bigger, made a couple advancements. The, f the initial first trailer was extremely disappointing like it was just bigger screen more durable here you go that's what you get and then they went a bit more in debt and then they just released a new trailer where they revealed like a bit more and then that was it pretty disappointing am i right Minimal, so basically, uh, in conclusion, Apple has made minimal changes to their tech products once again. I tweeted about this on like the day that it, that it came, it was, it was on the 14th, today it's like 22nd, 23rd, I don't care, I don't have, I don't use the calendar. It's like the 24th or something. I don't know. But basically, it came out like 10 days ago and I tweeted about it. A day later, when I found out it happened. So basically, in conclusion, Apple has once again disappointed me with their minimal changes to their tech products in their new 2021 lineup. 
I'm hoping the best for next year, the iPhone 14. And this has been MK MKBHD, Marquez Brianley. I'm kidding. It's been snake and that stuff. And see you in the next one.